vacation was awesome. We had great weather, New York City. We went down to the Jersey Shore. We went to Atlantic City, not gamble. What else did we do? Had coffee. Absolutely fish. Uh-huh. Here we are, guys. Absolutely fish. This place is beyond. All right, this is the best retail place that I've ever been to. The hey guys, how's it going? Good. I'm just coming back here, and I'm going to show you what they have back here, from the back to the front. Okay, this is uh, sand, all that stuff. Okay, so take a look. These are rows here. See, they have fish on both sides. This is what I'm getting today, right here. They said they had some fox face. I don't know if this is the size. This is probably what I'm getting right here. Can't deal with my algae anymore, guys. So let's just take a look down here. Check out all this, these fish they have in here. It's awesome. Look at this guy. This is another. And they keep their systems perfect in here. There's no ick, no nothing in here. Look at this guy, Sweet Lips, I remember them. I had one of them once. Tom, I'm here for the fox face. What's your name, bud? I'm Brad. Brad, all right. Is Patrick around today? Um, yeah, the owner? Yeah. Yeah, I, I got you. You don't, you don't have to get them right now. In the back, are those your $79 ones, the two and a half inchers? Ones, yeah. Okay, great. Body colored angel right there. That's an awesome fish in here. Look at this little trigger. Oh. What else we got in here? Ah, oh, look at that tiny little tang. That looks like a biota tang because it's so little and it's light colored. Here's all the frags. I got tons of frags in here, right? My only concern is this is going in a 75 with a, a group of established fish, a yellow tang. What are these going for? 120. 120, okay. I was looking at them before. They look really nice. Yeah, hmm. I'm looking at nice big bellies on these guys. Yeah. Yeah, the, I like this. I'm just concerned about how long they've been here. Yeah. I, but these guys just ate, and they all ate ravenous. So that's incredible, right? Yeah, they usually kind of prepare. Isha's a pro, guys. So she's the one. Unlike my other videos, when I get fish overnighted, I usually acclimate by just putting them right in. I float the bag and put them right in. But because this was a local retailer and it only came about a half hour away, there isn't an issue with ammonia buildup. So what I'll do then is I'll acclimate by floating the bag for about 20 minutes to get the temperature right. And then I will do a drip acclimation for about 45 minutes. It's tough guys with adding new fish. Considerations are a lot of luck and you need a strong incoming fish that will be able to deal with the stress from the other inhabitants depending on which one is going to torture them for the first few days, sometimes more. All right, after the acclimation process, guys, you can't see it here, but the yellow tang really gave it to the fox face. It did not like it in the tank at all. Right now it's looking really good because it's keeping its distance. But for the first hour or two, the fox face had to hide up in the GSP. If the fish can't handle stress the first few days to a week, chances are he's not gonna make it. There's not a real lot you can do in these situations. You know, the fish is in a reef tank. You know, sometimes retailers will tell you to move the rocks around. You can't do that in a reef tank. So what you have to hope for is that this is only temporary. And what I noticed over the few days, it began to get less and less. I also noticed that the behavior 
of the yellow tang was kind of like all bark and no bite. And as soon as the fox face realized this, he was able to be out in the tank a little bit more, still hiding, still swimming away from the tang if he got aggressive, but it didn't seem to affect him as much as the first day. Regardless of what you read about the fish and what fish get along with other fish, it doesn't always happen the way it is in textbooks. There's just a dynamic that goes on in the community of fish. If there's one dominant fish in there who's got control of the whole community and a new one comes in, it's going to get abused. As far as the other fish in the tank, it's as if nothing happened, nothing changed. The only problem I had was with the yellow tang. So it's been four days. The fox face's color is really coming out. He still hides a lot from the yellow tang. He's eating some of the nori. Uh, he's eating a little bit of the food that I feed now. So I think I'm out of the darkness, so to speak, and I think he's gonna make it. 